This is Matt Hudson with Tips for Truckers. And I got a CB tip for you today. Now, with these CB mics, a lot of times you get a bad connection where the cord meets the plug. And your mic just will stop working. It happened to me with a bunch of different mics. I got tired of buying mics, and so I got this great idea. I found this spring, and you wrap it around the uh, cord here. And then you bring it up to where it meets, and then you kind of just keep twisting it until it starts twisting on to the base of this cord plug here, and that keeps it from kinking. Now I've had this mic on here for about four years, where I was used to going through a mic every couple months. And then another thing, if you notice, especially with these static mics. Uh, they work pretty good, but the problem is cords get super long on them. Well, what you do is you buy one of these gear keepers. You know, it retracts your CB mic so you could grab it and then it goes right back. But here's the big thing. Right where your cord starts, wrap it about twice in the cord here. Now keep your cord nice and short. You see, it's not in the way of anything. It's not swinging. You know, I can still see my gauges hit my switches without hitting the cord. But these cords just stretch out so much. And see, like I said, I had this mic for about four or five years or so. And look, this is not even stretched out at all. And I can still make it just fine to my mouth. You know, it still functions just fine. But just... A little bit after the mic starts, just wrap it twice, maybe three times around the cord here. You got a lot shorter cord and it won't keep stretching out on you. Well, that's my CB tips for today. You guys have a great day.